Okay, so what's going to happen is because growing season is over for the most part, everything is pretty much died out. I took out some stuff here the other day because I came out and it was mostly the squash plants. So we still have a few plants here. There's a few potato plants here, some more squash vines here, and just weeds like that. The collard greens will stay. I'm going to leave this guy here, which is some more squash. It seemed to be growing okay, and my wife wanted me to leave that. But all of this here is going to go. Uh, of course, here you can see my herbs here and those just need more water because I've been slack again on watering everything so I'll water those some more once I get all this stuff out this pot here there was some squash in there I took that out this right here is my stevia it's either not getting up enough water or it's the end of the season for it now this plant will come back next year my sage here I need to cut that back a little bit and of course I have more squash here this collard green plant I need to kind of deal with that as usual because that's always growing it's growing too tall so I'll probably cut that down and then I will compost it more than likely I have over here once again some more squash that has to go and spiders and things so this right here is green pepper there are some green peppers here a few here so we got green peppers that kind of thing these will go here my longevity spinach is growing really nice now if i do what i'm supposed to do I will go ahead and harvest some of these leaves right now and get to it before this whole thing gets full and it's just all over the place. We'll see if I'm able to do that because, you know, there's just so much to be done. And of course here, once again, is my spearmint and it's coming back and that's a good thing. So that has to grow a little bit more. Then here is this right here is doing really well. This is another another set of stevia that I put in. It's growing really well. So that's good. And I got more mint plant here. That's growing good. Now my peppermint over here is taking a little bit longer to come back. And if you can see in here, I have a little plant right here. That is a jackfruit plant. So we'll see if we're able to make that. And I think this is going to grow much better when I take all the stevia out and dry that. So, so that's what we're going to do in just a few minutes. It won't last long, but we're going to get it done. So I'm going to actually start probably here. I'm going to rip all this stuff up and just take it and put it in a compost pile or the compost bin rather. And you will have seen the compost bin because I showed that last week. So this time I'm going to go ahead and add more to it so that we'll have more compost. So follow me and we'll get this thing started. I have to clean off the squash and cucumber from here so that I can open up the compost bin and get that going. So we got a bunch of little stuff in there. There was some jackfruit in there that is rotting and everything, but that's a beautiful thing. Uh, this bag here, that's supposed to be compostable and it looks like it may be um, falling apart. So that's what we got. So I'm going to go back this side and then I'm going to start composting. Or actually, I'm going to get things ready to go to the compost. So I found one more squash here. I'll put it right there for safekeeping. And there is another big one here. So things are still growing, but it's time 
to clean up a little bit because I know I won't be having very much time to deal with it later. And plus, I'm going to be leaving pretty quickly going down south to work on my small house some more. So I want to have this taken care of before I go. So we grow stuff and we compost it and we get more healthy soil from putting it back in here. So I'm just going to compost all of this. So I can make healthy soil. It's another squash. I'll just keep that. Maybe it'll ripen up a little bit. This was a little makeshift grow rack, if you would call it such a thing. Because these vines from these squashes, they really travel. If I hadn't done this, they'd be all over the place. And that's not something I wanted, even though they were taking up a lot of the space out here. All this will get saved for the next batch of whatever I'm going to grow. Oops. I'm trying to kill my pepper plant. And there is one more squash that was growing. We'll save that guy also. The thing I do like about this is that it cleans up pretty well and pretty quickly. Not a whole lot to do. And what will happen is I'll add water or my wife will add water to this to get it moist and get that composting started pretty quickly. That's going pretty good. As you can probably see, I only have one glove because I can only find one, so we're just going to keep it rolling. These little prickly things don't hurt too bad, so we're just going to keep it going. And it's like I said in the other video with the compost, and it's, it's amazing how much stuff you put in here, but it never really fills up because everything get, gets composted. All right, let's handle these cucumber plants. Oh, 
there was a cucumber that just fell. And unfortunately, some of the cucumbers will get composted because we just weren't eating that much of them. And I said before, I was going to make pickles and all that other kind of good stuff. Yeah, didn't happen. So once again, it's always something to keep me from doing all the good things that I want to with the things that I grow. But we got lots of good use out of it. We made cucumber water, cucumber lemonade, and I had a bunch of cucumber with apple cider vinegar. And all in all, it was really good. Of course, I wish I could do more with it, but that wasn't the case. So that's a lot for our composting, but we had a lot, so we're going to keep it moving. Maybe I'll eat this one. I'll toss that one. Keep that one. Now we'll have to actually start conditioning this soil more since everything is done growing. And that will get us ready for next growing season. And that will be a good thing. So there's a few here. I'll come back another time and try and get as many of these potatoes out of the ground as I can because they will grow again if they're left there. And I've been trying to get as many of those of those as I can. Sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Now this one, this plant will be left because there are a few squashes on there. So we got lots of compost material here. So that's gonna grow really nicely. Move these guys over a little bit, get them out of the way. So I think that may be it because I've gotten everything in the compost bin. So I'm going to run a little water over those to get those started composting. So that'll help the decomposition and that'll allow the worms to come up and get more food because from the last video you guys saw I had a lot of worms in here and they are just I'm sure itching for more food to help them reproduce so that is going to be a good thing and then of course I'll go ahead and give this some more water because it needs it. If you remember, I moved this from one of the containers because it didn't seem like it was getting enough of something. So I just put it here and give it as much water as I can. And these planters here, I'll go ahead and fill them up with more soil so they'll be ready for growing season next year add a little fertilizer and just try and get it um, get it ready and more than likely put some compost material in there so that it'll bring it all the way up to the top all right i think that's all i'm going to do because it's starting to get a little dark right now and that's about all we need to do so there you go 
Uh, next time, hopefully you'll see me growing again because I probably won't do anything else out here unless I decide to do a few winter crops. Haven't decided yet, so we'll see. So that's it, and we'll see you guys on the next video.